On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. It is time for another episode of On Drop Rates and in this one, you might be seeing from my gear, I am going to be doing a wilderness boss and if you've done quite a lot of wilderness bosses, you might already know which one it is. I'm going to be doing Venonatus. This is a big money maker. Every single kill is worth around 100,000 GP and the item we're going to be hunting for is the treasonous ring. So at a maximum we will be doing 512 kills. Now of course this is in the wilderness so I'm only bringing three valuable items, the anguish, the pegation and the crafts bow and I'm using a bandos coif which I protect from protect item as well. So I'm only risking 288,000 which is not that bad and dying at Venonatus that is is uh, kind of hard to do actually it's kind of easy to get away and uh, the losing bag of course I will lose everything in if I do die but uh, everything I will count in if I do lose the challenge it doesn't matter if I die or whatever I will go by the uh, loot tracker on runelight so any lost loot will still be counted towards the giveaway now I have done Venonatus before and I have a current kill count of 107 so if I do not get the Treasoner's Ring and I do lose the challenge my end KC will be 619. When it comes to Venonatus, the only scary part is really the PKers. I'm never really going to die to Venonatus. As you can see, I'm just safe spotting the boss. And actually, safe spotting Venonatus with a Crafts Bow is one of the easiest things ever. I just stand on this tile and attack at a certain time when the front legs of Venonatus is on the marked tiles I'm showing you right now. First kill, elite clue scroll already. I guess the Ring of Wealth imbued is helping out quite a bit. The, the drop rate of the elite clue scroll will be on the screen right now. I actually don't know what it is, but you do. So anyways, when the front legs is on this mark right here, it will actually start attacking me. And as soon as it does that, I attack her and I can AFK from that point. You know, normally when I get these wilderness steps, I'm really annoyed because I'm like, ah, man, I have to re-gear and everything. I have to unequip my gear so I don't risk anything. I've already geared up for being in the wilderness, so this is going to be very convenient. I'm going to be honest, I've never done this before. Score a goal in Skull Ball. I had never even heard of this. And I feel like I'm doing it correctly, but apparently I am not doing it correctly, so... Guess I'll be stuck here for a while. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a long step. Six minute long step for that. Oh, hopefully I don't get a lot of those. Because I'm only going to be getting probably a maximum of around 10 elite clue scrolls, I'm just going to open them all as I go. So let's see what the first elite clue of the grind is going to be. And it is... Oh my god, that's so many items. Stacked elite clue scroll, 200k and a unique item and a master clue scroll. Not really feeling like going on too many master clue detours, so I'm just going to save that. And I'm going to actually do that at the end of the video. Man, we're going to be making some money this video, I can already feel it. 258,000 GP from that one drop, that is beautiful. And there he is, the first PKer of this grind. And I got to teleport, it's actually really easy to get away. Even I got teleblocked there, you can see in the chat, but I still got the teleport off before it. So it's kind of easy to get away if I'm fast. The money from this is ridiculous. Look at this, 10 kill trip and I got 832,000 in loot. And of course, mostly from the red spider eggs, 500k of it, but uh, it's not that rare of a drop, so it's pretty good. Okay, I guess we're banking. 488k, I've actually been here for a bit now, like 12 kills or something like that, maybe 10 kills. We have another elite clue as well, so that is very nice. What is going on here? I've never seen this. I wonder what they're doing. They're all in full obsidian with Obimal. Is this like a PKing team or something? Very interesting. Second elite clue scroll is going to be some... Oh my god! 
I have never seen that many purple sweets. 53, 500k. That has to be like two or three rolls of purple sweets. I wonder how rare that is. That has to be incredibly rare. I actually had to look this up. Look on the screen right now. There's actually two different amounts of purple sweets you can roll. And you can see the chances of getting them. I actually got two of the ones that are 9 to 23. And then I got one of the ones 8 to 12 to be able to get 53 purple sweets in one roll. I'm not sure how rare that is, but... It's probably very rare. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I got a dragon pickaxe. But oh my god. 1.2 million. That means one snapdragon is 12,000. Dude, raids 3 is really making those expensive. Yo! What? That's back to back. I teleported and I got back 4.9 million GP. Holy, let's... Jesus, let's have a look at that. Dragon pickaxe. That was very early on the grind as well. Beautiful. I'm banking that for sure. Okay. Dragon two-hander. I'm getting a lot of interesting drops, that's for sure. I already got that on the collection log, so not that great. 132k. It is that time. I am about to get absolutely destroyed by these PKers. I think I can pretty much give up. I got teleblocked, I didn't get the teleport. These guys were very, very quick. And uh, it is not looking good here. I'm pretty- yeah, I'm dead. There's no way. Well, I only lost like 500k, I think. Not all too bad. I think I lost an elite clue scroll as well, so... That is unfortunate. Couple of kills later, I recouped that elite clue scroll. For a decent elite clue scroll, 211k. I feel like I've been decently lucky with them value-wise. What? Is that real? Two dragon pickaxes and I've done, what, 90 kills or something like that? Oh my god, we are making bank. Hopefully I get the ring as well so I get to keep this. By the way, I am actually going to be tracking the kills on rune light. You can see I have 90 kill counts, but in the chat I think it says I've done 93 kills or 94, I don't exactly remember. But it's because sometimes I hit the boss and I had to tell you out and then he died later and he counted as a kill count. Let's see what we get from elite clue number 4 of the grind. We get a very average elite clue, 277k. Actually all of them have been pretty valuable so far. Yo? What? Treasonous ring, 142 kills in. I am lucky this video, that's for sure, we completed the challenge, and I have to say, I'm pretty happy to actually get this, because uh, both, we got the dragon pickaxes, so I made a lot of money in this video, 20 million, but on top of that, I don't like wilderness bosses, so being done with this challenge a bit earlier is very nice, I will do all the wilderness bosses in the future, but I have to say I'm pretty happy with this one. I sold everything instantly and I lost some money, also I did get PK'd for like 1 million I think that one time, it was actually more than I anticipated, but 17 million, not bad for that grind, but uh, I will do the Master Clue Scroll as well that we got earlier and let's see what we get from that one. Alright, let's have a look at the Master Clue Scroll, I think this is clue number 11, so can we get the pet spooned to us, it would be very nice at this point, let's go ahead and open it. And that is a lot of items, it's 500k. That would be a lot to the giveaway, but this time I won, so there is no giveaway. I actually get to keep the money this time. Now, this is a bit of a hint what I'm wearing right now, what is going to be the subject focus of the next video. But for now, we're going to end the video here. I am so happy with getting the Treasoner's Ring. It is not worth a lot of money, but overall, we did actually make quite a bit if I can find Venonatis right there. 256 kills, as I said, and we only missed the pets. And I assure you guys... One time in the future, on a number 10th episode, 20, 30, 40, something like that, we are going to go for a wilderness pet, which is one in 2000, so it is likely I will go come back to Venonatis in the future, but for now, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see the future uploads of this series and the different challenges I'm going to be taking on, and until next time, guys, take care.